Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a collab with my friend Katie. I will have her video linked down below. But what we're doing is I'm doing this Halloween fall craft of this really cute wreath you can do with your kids. And she is going to be doing a snack food treat type thing. So make sure you check the link down below and let's get started if you want to know how to make this really cute Halloween wreath. So the supplies you'll need for this craft is a paper plate, black acrylic paint, white glue, tissue paper of your color choice, scissors, paintbrush, orange construction paper, and of course, googly eyes to make it more fun. So first things first, you're going to grab your little helper and you're going to paint their hand black. This is going to make our spider out of their hand prints. So I'm just using just one of those sponge dollar store paintbrushes, painting his hand black, and then putting one handprint one way and one handprint the other way. Now, I've seen pictures where it looks a little bit better if you use the other handprint so then the thumbs are both at the bottom, but if you want to do it my way, just use the same handprint and then you don't have to rush to the sink and clean and it's just less chaotic and messy this way if you don't mind that the thumbs are opposite ways. So once that's done, you just set that aside and let that dry. So now I'm going to be cutting out the base for a wreath, which is the paper plate. I'm just using a pencil to puncture a hole, then taking my scissors and just cutting out a circle and then this is going to be the base, like I said, for the wreath. So we're gonna continue preparing everything else before we ask our little helper to come back and help. So right now I am cutting up some pieces of black streamers. Now, if you had construction paper, that would be best, but I couldn't find any black construction paper and I really wanted the touches of black to kind of add to the Halloween feel. So I just found streamers and really it works fine. So you're gonna cut up some black streamers, you're gonna cut your orange and green tissue paper, whatever colors you decide to do, into little squares. And once that is all set up and prepared, you can ask your little helper to come back and join you. Okay, so this is when your little helper comes back into play. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your white glue and you're just gonna apply it all over the base paper plate of your reef. This just makes it really easy for them to just grab some tissue paper and place it on. And basically then, that's all you do, is you let them pick the colors, crumple it all up, and place it anywhere they want onto the reef. It doesn't really matter, at least for me, I didn't really care about color placement, so I just let them keep putting it on wherever they wanted. Now, my little helper did get bored halfway through, and yeah, so I did end up finishing it on my own, but he did do most of the work. But you're just gonna keep continuing until it starts to look really full and fluffy. And as you can see, my other little helper came to sit on my lap and help me finish. So yeah, I just finished by just trying to fill every white space on the reef so that you're not going to see the paper plate backing. By the time you're done that, your handprint should be dry. So then you can add the googly eyes. So Caden was very excited to come back and help me put on the googly eyes. So I just put two blobs of white glue and allowed him to place on the googly eyes wherever he saw fit. And he picked the huge googly eyes. I let him pick what size and that's what size he wanted. And I think it looks super cute. So then yeah, you're just gonna place that to the side to dry. Then once that is dry, you are going to cut out your handprint. Now I just quickly cut it out and then I went around each finger and all that and I just left a little bit of an orange border around it just because I thought it looked nice. And then once that's cut out, you're just going to glue it to your reef and you are done. You have this super cute reef. It's just a little memory memento and I think it looks super adorable hanging on your wall or on your door or wherever you want. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys make this, be sure to like tweet me or share it to me on my Instagram or my Twitter because I would love to see your recreations. Anyways, that's all for this video. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye.